Hey everyone, welcome to this episode. Today we're going to have a look at how you can use the chalkboards in Minecraft Education Edition. Alright, so first things first, there are actually three types of chalkboard desks. Uh, we've got slate, we've got posters, and we've got one that's just called board. And they can be put down in two different ways. So let's have a look to get them. Normally the easiest thing is to press E on your keyboard. And then here in our inventory, we search for the ones that we want to. Now, unfortunately, if you start writing like chalkboard, you don't really get anything. Chalkboard is just the category in which they belong in. The first one, which is the smallest, is actually called um, a slate. So here it is there. It's just kind of this tiny little board looking thing. So we can pop that up and put that in there. The second one, which is kind of a little bit more of a longer rectangle shape one is called um, a poster. So there's our poster. So we can grab that pop it in as well. And then our last one is just called board, which is actually our biggest um, chalkboard of them all. So we grab that one and we can put it in as well. So for those who are into using the chat commands to do that, it's T or enter on our keyboard, then it's forward slash give at self, and then it's board, board um, in this chat command is the grouping. And then it's the quantity, um, or sorry, the, the um, sorry, yes, the amount that you want. So one, I just want one board. And then it's kind of the, the data number for it. So uh, posters are actually one, boards are two, and slates are three. They don't actually go in the order of smallest to largest. So if I wanted a slate, which is the um, little one, I would do a three and hit enter. And that would put that into my hotbar down the bottom. You can see I've got two now in there, one in position one and one in position four. But let's have a look at what these look like. So they can go in two ways. You can put them straight up onto a wall like this one. So I make sure that I've got it selected in my hotbar and then I right click. This will always come up first. So this is where we can put our text in, okay? Uh, we can, you can hit enter. The only thing about it is um, you can't click to move. So like if I, um, wanted to go back to the beginning of H here, I can't I actually have to use the uh, the pointer on the mouse to do so. I have to backspace and start writing again. Um, but otherwise, there we go. I can put it in and I can choose to have that locked or unlocked, totally up to you. You can also put them on the ground. So pop that one there. And again, uh, you don't actually have to write anything. You can technically leave them blank, um, but that's how I can represent the two of them. Now, if you do kind of stand on an angle, like for instance, with this one, it will place it down on that angle as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's going to be straight in the direction which you're standing. If we grab the poster, this one here, it's going to be a little bit different. If we come over here and we look at it again, it's basically like two slates put together. Okay, just taking up double that amount of space and we can pop one down on the ground. So you kind of get that general idea about how it's two together. And then if we have a look at the board, comes up a little bit bigger. And, you know, I've had students use them for different reasons. Someone told me that this was a big flat screen TV that was on, on the wall, which was great. And obviously then I can also put them on the ground. And so these are really cool for students to um, type in their, their understanding of a topic. They may have built something, but then place the board down in front of it and take a photo. And then that's something for you to read as well but they are the three main types of chalkboards that you can use in minecraft education edition i hope you find them super useful and we will see you again soon